Invisible in water experiments. Dum dum dum. Salt put in water will dissolve. Dis oh, dissolve. Hmm. I didn't think I need that W. That's how to say dissolve. Because some people don't know that word. Salt break. Everybody got to learn it sometime. Salt breaks up into tiny pieces, too small to see when it dissolves. Yes, into the Na plus and the Cl minus. That's table salt. The salt you put on your chips is sodium chloride. Salt dissolves in water to make salt water. Solution. Solution is how to say solution. Sugar dissolves in water to make sugar water solution. Yes, sweet water. Coca-Cola, of course, is sugar and water and some carbon dioxide dissolved in the water. In a sugar water solution and some other flavorings. Uh, water is the solvent. Yes, 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 yes. Water is called the universal solvent. Uh, well, it's actually not universal anyway. But mostly water is used as a solvent. It's the stuff that does dissolving, the liquidy stuff. Some things won't dissolve in water. Candle wax won't dissolve in water, but will dissolve in some petrol or hexane or some other petroly like stuff. Uh, kerosene, or, which is also called um, aircraft fuel, that will dissolve wax from candles. In a sugar water solution, sugar is the solute. Solute. Yeah, annoying this. They're all very uh, sol, sol words. But, you know, hey, all about solutions is solute and solvent. In a salt water solution, salt is the solute and water is the solvent. Water is the solvent in most, almost all the solutions in your home. Yeah, uh, your whiskey is dissolved in water, your wine is dissolved in water, your milk is dissolved in water, coke is dissolved in water, lemonade is dissolved in water. Everything that's liquidy that humans consume, drink, is dissolved in water. Um, everything that aren't, olive oil, aha, olive oil, not dissolved in water, it won't dissolve. The coloured stuff on ladies' fingernails is called nail varnish. Varnish. Oh yeah, nail varnish. Not dissolved in water. Uh, mm, not yet. People are working on it though. Nail varnish. Remover is an organic solvent. Made from crude oil. If nail varnish dissolves in water, your mum would have to repaint her nails every time she did she washed her hands or did the washing up. Nail varnish dissolves in nail varnish remover. Nail varnish remover is called acetone. Ah! Old fashioned nail varnish remover. Acetone. Yeah, acetone, unfortunately, is um, uh, uh, carcinogenic. Not allowed to buy it in your um, chemistry teacher. Me. Chemistry teacher. Well, I'm a chemistry teacher. Well, I do chemistry and physics and math. Your chemistry teacher isn't allowed to buy acetone anymore because it's it's carcinogenic. It gives you cancer. But you can buy nail varnish remover that's 100% acetone. Yeah. Because it's in the supermarket, so I can buy it. And I need it, because every now and again, somebody writes on a whiteboard with permanent ink. And then they go and ask the chemistry teacher to sort it out. With his carcinogenic chemicals. But a little bit is not going to give you cancer. You, you get hundreds of cancers every day. Your white blood cells sort them out. It's only if you get enormous amounts of cancers, millions, that um, your white blood, blood cells can't sort it out. And you get full-blown cancer growing in you. Growing, growing, growing. 
People with pet rats say that the acetone makes them attack your hand. Yeah, one of my friends, uh, you know, one person, that's, that's, uh, anyway, it's an interesting story though. Put some nail varnish onto a fingernail, let it dry. Try to dissolve the varnish with water, then try to dissolve the varnish with nail varnish remover. Nail varnish dissolves in nail varnish remover, acetone, but not in water. Washing powder dissolves in water in your washing machine, in the water in your washing machine. Washing powder is a solute. Water is a solvent. The chemical in washing powder is called detergent. Detergent. When you wash your clothes, the detergent in washing powder makes the solution soapy. Soapy. <laughs> The detergent dissolves the stains in your dirty clothes. The stains from chips are oils. Blood stains are proteins. Proteins. Yes, uh, in your blood there's um, red blood cells. They're made by proteins and a couple of oils and stuff. Um, but mostly proteins. And the water, of course, evaporates off. The proteins and oils on your dirty clothes are digested by the powders enzymes. Enzymes is how to say enzymes. Enzymes work best at 40 degrees C. Yes, because enzymes are body chemicals. They're chemicals, uh, catalysts, so they make reactions go faster and don't get used up in the reaction, so you can use them millions and millions of times, just the one little enzyme molecule can do millions and millions of reactions. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're made to work at body temperature. 37 degrees C for humans, uh, 40 degrees C is like optimum temperature. At higher temperatures than 40 degrees C, enzymes denature, 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 means the enzyme changes shape and stops working. Washing powders digest proteins with the enzyme protease. You make protease enzymes by... <laughs> you make protease enzymes to digest proteins in your stomach. Yeah, enzymes always A-S-E at the end. Stomach. Fats are just digested by lipase. Yeah, lipids by lipase. Um, fats and oils are called lipids. Lipase. To make lipase, you make lipase to digest fats at the top of your small intestine called your duodenum. Duodenum. I think a W would be good there. Uh, yes, lip A's. Use 40 degrees C for all washes. Any hotter and the digestive enzymes denature. Uh, yeah, apart from if you're washing towels, when you don't use enzyme washing powder, you use other washing powders not with enzymes, and the 100 degrees C will kill any bacteria or funguses that are growing in your towel. It's, you do this if you've got smelly towels. Other clothes, no, because it wrecks them. Unless they're 100% cotton, and even t-shirts that say 100% cotton, mm, I'm not so sure. Any hotter and the digestive enzyme denature. When enzymes denature, they change shape and stop working. Or use 100 degrees C to kill the bacteria on smelly cotton towels. Towel, yeah, only cotton towels. Towels can take 100 degrees C because they're 100% cotton. 
apparatus. Nail varnish, nail varnish removal. When you wash your hands or clothes, the grease that sticks on the dirt dissolves in soapy water. Dirt has a high solubility in soapy water solutions. Solubility? Oh no, that's the first time that word's been used. Dirt is the solute. No, I can't let that gift. Oh. And water is the solvent. Hey, did that bit right. Washing powder enzymes digest the proteins. Ah, oh, proteins. E I N. Proteins and oils in the dirt on your clothes. But enzymes denature at temperatures above 40 degrees C. Go! Oh, did you see the one spelling mistake that made on purpose? The secret spelling mistake. Write it down in comments. Who's going to be first? Who's going to be second to find it? Uh, press my picture to get more of my videos. Press like. Press subscribe. Bye.